All right, here we are in Blender, and I'm going to create a small man for my Flash game. We're going to start off by creating its foot. So it's actually going to be a boot in this case. So let's move that up. Constraint to the Z, so hit the Tab key to go into Edit Mode. Make sure we're on Face Select by hitting Control Tab. That brings up that menu. Click Face. Select the front face, press E to extrude. I'm going to hold the control key down to, to make sure that it extrudes by a certain amount. There we go. So we've created a L, which is going to serve as the basis for the boot. So we'll go into the properties here, add a modifier for a uh, subdivision surface. That'll round everything out. It's still not looking very bootish, so I will go back into the edit it. I'm now going to uh, add a seam along here. Do that by pressing T to open up the tool and finding the mark seam tab. Click on that. So we've now marked that seam. Now we'll press N to open up the properties and uh, crease that seam and you'll see the seam slowly snaps to the top there. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Switch to our edge. Hold down the shift key while I click on the different edges. Select them all at once. Alright, open up the tools and the properties again. Mark the seam and crease it down. Alright, looking a little more bootish now. So let's um, select this edge right here, go into the side view, zoom in a little bit here, and I'm just going to grab that and move it down a little bit. There, that's a good shape. So that's a boot number one. So let's go to front view here, shift D to duplicate it, move it over a fair bit. Let's just uh, grab those and center them. Move them down a little bit too. There we go. Alright, so that's the feet done, or the boots. So we'll move on and create some legs now. So take the perspective off, press the 3 on the numpad to force on the front view. Let's just pan down a little bit here. Press A to deselect everything that's selected there. Press Shift A to create a new mesh, a cube. Grab it, constrain it to the Z, move it up. Grab it, constrain it to the Y, and move it over. Alright, we're going to scale that now, because I don't want it that thick. So we'll scale it by the Y. And we'll move to the side view here and scale it to the X. So that's going to be the general thickness of my leg there. And now I'm going to go into object mode, select this face. I'm going to extrude it across and then create the next leg by hitting Extrude, which is the E key again. Mm, there we go. So that'll serve as our hip. Zoom in a little bit here. Grab by Z, move it up. Then uh, we'll go in Edit Mode and we'll extrude us some legs here. All right. So we go to Face. Select this face and this face. Extrude down, extrude the knees, extrude the shins. All right. How's that look? Very, very basic legs at this point. I uh, created knees in the legs because I wanted them to bend when I put some armature in there and start animating it. I wanted some extra vertices to work with. All right, so let's add the same modifier to that, the subdivision surface, subdivision surface, excuse me. All right, force that to the front view. Take the perspective off. Let's move that up a little bit. 
And you see the bottom of the legs here are kind of rounded and look like crayons or something. I'm going to uh, crease those and get rid of that roundness. So go into edit mode, turn on the properties and the tools, mark the seam, and crease it. Get rid of those two shelves. Grab, see, move down. Here we go. So very basic legs. I'm just going to give it an extra shape here. There, it looks a little thin. So let's uh, select faces now. Select the back. And let's select all three of those. And then we'll just uh, grab and move that out. Give it a bum shape. out, give the thighs some shape, and finally we'll add a little shape to the calf here. There we go. Let's uh, go to the front view, see how those legs line up to the boots. They don't line up too well, do they? Let's fix that. We'll grab the boots and move those so they're right in the middle of the legs. So hit G to grab. I keep saying that, but I'm not telling you what key I'm hitting. I'm hitting the G key every time I want to move an object. I, G stands for grab. There we go. Zoom out. Turn on perspective and take a little walk around this guy. Oh, he's got big boots and small skinny legs. That's okay. Everyone's a little different. Okay, what's our time like? Let's um, move on and create a torso here. Select A again, or hit A to deselect everything. Uh, Shift A to create a, another cube. This will serve as our basis for our torso or upper body. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and pan up. Oop. And let's scale that along the Y, make it a little wider. And grab that and move it down. Right. I'm going to extrude this into three parts, so a lower part and middle part and an upper part. That'll give us a bit more options when we go to shape the upper body. So we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. Just adjust the view so you can see the top face here. Select the top face. Extrude it. That's the middle bit. Extrude it again. That's the top bit. This also gives us uh, the opportunity to add some shoulders on there. So. Let's extrude that, then uh, we'll extrude the other side as well. I'm holding down a control key just to force it to snap to a certain distance so they're both sides are the same. Okay, so we have a, a T-shape here. It'll be our T-shirt. And I'm going to add the same modifier, the subdivision surface. I'm going to uh, select the bottom edges, increase the those. Oop. Make sure I'm on edge here. This, 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 and this. And this. Uh, properties and tools. Mark the seam. Increase it. And you can just see how that is a nice solid line on the bottom there. All right, let's give this shirt a little more shape. Stick with the edge select. Let's grab and move that out and down a little bit. I want an arc in the spine, so. Same thing, grab that and move it out. So we got a nice little S shape there. Mess around with the front a little bit, give it a bit more shape as well. Grab down, puff the chest out a little bit. And grab, move that. Okay. 
I'm going to narrow the waist a little bit. I can do that by selecting the edge on this side and then selecting the edge on this side. Oops, let's try that again. Going to the front view, then scaling that along the Y. We'll just pinch that in a little bit. There. It's a bit nicer shape. You can uh, select that top face where the neck's going to go. You can raise that up a little bit. So switch to face, select that, go to front view, grab move it up a bit. So how's that look? I think I want that a little thicker, just generally thicker through the whole area. So go in the side view here and scale that along the X like that. Let's bring that front down a little bit too. Go to edge, select that front edge, grab and move that down. Okay, I think that's uh, good enough for now. I'll continue in the next screen, the next video, to uh, add some arms, a neck, and a head, and uh, maybe some color. So uh, that's all for now.